Kenneth Arnold was an experienced amateur pilot. When in June 24, 1947, his experience as a pilot took a sudden surprise that he never saw coming. There was a $5,000 reward to locate the wreckage of a Marine Corps C-46 that had gone down near Mount Rainier with 32 men on board. Not wanting to pass up the reward, Kenneth took his plane that was designed for flying in the mountains and spent an hour or two searching for the craft. After finding nothing at first, he turned back around and was suddenly monetarily blinded by a bright light. He thought, at first, it had to be the sun reflecting off another aircraft or a flock of birds, but the light was too high in the sky and too fast for a flock of birds. He searched and found the sky was empty of any other possible explanations. Worried that maybe there was another aircraft in the sky that he might accidentally fly into, he opened his window carefully and looked off to the left. Another flash lit up the sky. Whatever it was, was fast. And then Kenneth saw them. Nine bright objects flying north of Mount Rainier. The objects had to be over 20 miles away. Using his wristwatch, he timed how long it took from the objects to fly from the peak of Mount Rainier to Mount Adams, and estimated they were going 1,700 miles per hour, which was impossible for an aircraft at the time. As the strange objects crossed his flight path, he could see that their wings were curved like a boomerang. The shapes were capable of flipping up and down, yet staying in formation, and as they moved, they were followed a light from their surface. He would later describe the movement as if someone were skipping a saucer across the surface of the water. And this is how the term flying saucer came about. After two and a half minutes, they disappeared south of Mount Adams. Wanting to tell someone of his find, he landed in Yakima Airfield and made a report to Al Bakter, the general manager, before flying off to the airfield at Pendleton, Oregon. By the time he landed, a swarm of newspaper and radio reporters were already waiting for him. Kenneth Woodward eventually fly back home after three days, tired of all the questioning and hysteria. After his sighting, 850 people from all over the United States claimed to see flying saucers within a two-month period. Now, there are many explanations of weird sightings, from mirages to experimental aircrafts. It all depends on the person who's reading the cases and what they believe. But I'm sure that Kenneth Arnold didn't believe any of the possible explanations and full heartedly believes his own story. So here are a few explanations that others have claimed that he may have experienced. These are coming from the book Alien Abduction. Most of my research comes from this book for this case and will be credited so. Mirages. From the air over the mountains creating layers of different temperatures may have him seen weird lights passing through or objects nearby. Earth lights. With Mount Rainier being a dormant volcano, there are fault lines. With pressure building up in these areas can cause a burst of energy that appear as flashing lights in the air above. Missiles. Possible guided missiles being tested in the area. A flock of birds off in the distance can be another. And an aircraft. There is no possible aircraft that can reach the speed that Kenneth claims objects did, so this is hard for me to see as credible. What do you believe? I believe he saw what he did. An experienced flyer knows of these other explanations and would probably identify them, or at least I'd like to think so. Did you like this video? If you'd like to support this channel, please check out my Patreon page. I create videos on cryptids, abductions, serious killers, and much more. If you can't support me there, please like, comment, and subscribe here. I'd like to thank my supporting Patreon this far, and I hope you all have a good day.